Hello everyone, I have another package from Extreme Digital, so it's from a Hungarian store. Uh, let's see what is inside. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so I have the warranty card also in the bag, but I'm gonna put it aside. So, here is the box and as you can see, it is a new lens. It is Sigma 105 millimeter, millimeter f2.8 f2 EXDG Macro OS with optical stabilization. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I'm trying to show the box. And it is really a good sign, it's the 5300 DF compatible because this is the exact camera what I have. So, and it's coming with a three year warranty. Let's open it. Let's see what is here. Some warranty sticker. Um, so also some warranty paper also some warranty related paper so a little booklet about uh, Sigma of, of uh, Sigma lenses so let's put it aside because this is not the point I mean this is not the main thing Another little manual, manual um, with a lot of. Um, okay, this one I'm not sure if it's Jap Japanese or Chinese, but with a lot of uh, writing what I cannot read. So here's a little strap because it's coming with a little uh, carry case or whatever it's called. What I'm most likely not gonna use too often because it's just must. It would be an additional thing to the to the photo bag what I already have, and there is a other little box. I have an idea what is in it. Yes, and these are the lens hoods. Uh, so okay, so here is the two. And so because if, uh, as I watched a couple of unboxing of this lens, um, it, there is a little additional lens hood for uh, APS-C sensor cameras. Yeah, this is a APS-C hood. To be honest, I don't know what's the difference, I mean what difference it makes. So this is for full frame and These can be put together like that, but it's still not the, not the point. Uh, sorry guys, my main light just died again. It seems that the battery doesn't really able to uh, keep the, the charge while I'm not using. Uh, sorry about it, I'm gonna try to bring my Show me smart light bulb a little closer. Uh, sorry about it, it's uh, I don't really like this light, but this is what it is. Hey Google set the light to 100 percent And here is the lens. It's a heavy lens, I can already tell that. So it's plastic outside. It's a uh, it's a okay quality plastic. So here is the the focus ring, and it it even though I can I can keep uh, rotating it, but it's make a little clicking noise when I'm reaching the one end. Okay, so. 
I'm, let me take a look on that. It really has a, a thick side, both sides, and it has this really thick thing in the bottom, actually two of these. But I'm gonna put back one of these for sure, and maybe the other one too. And I'm just gonna put it aside, but there is so many things came into the box that I have less and less space in the on my desk. So let me just switch the lens on my, lens on my camera and try to install this new lens. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's much heavier than the previous one, but that's not a problem. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna switch the settings here because uh, there is a little different setup than my other and I don't have the light installed at this moment. Um, so... Let me open up the, the blade and also in the side I would like just to show um, so yes so here you can switch that about what range you want to shoot um, autofocus and manual focus switch and also the optical stabilization um, switch on and off so I don't know how much, dif like what is the second option, but let me just try to, oh, and of course it has a little, uh, so, yes. Probably I'm a little too close. Okay, probably it's gonna be too dark. Yes, it's too dark. So I'm gonna just gonna try to adjust the settings. And it's... Uh, let me... Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put my little flash to it. Let's see how much difference it makes. Then I have to switch the settings back to the normal or close to the normal. I don't know how much it's gonna work like that, but let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna try to put it here so you can see what's happening yes if I'm gonna turn on the flash then it might be helpful it's just a little weird how it's trying to hunt for the focus but this is my it seems alright. Like it looks like there is a little. Well, I'm not sure if it's chromatic aberration or it's like a reflection of something, but it has that purple color. Let me try to take a picture of this landscape. I'm gonna try to also, it's visible for the camera also, so you might have a little idea about the focus speed. I mean probably the focusing speed is gonna be different uh, when I'm not using the live view, but the viewfinder. So it looks okay. I'm gonna try to 
PhD F for you. Let's see, let's do eight. That looks okay. I'm gonna switch to manual focus and hope you can see the viewfinder. Okay, I just wanna see how close can I go so probably this is the closest so it has a one-to-one -one magnification what is nice and I would like to try one more thing uh, before I finish this video and and I was really curious about it I couldn't find too many information that ha what happens if I'm at a, a extension tube to it so I'm gonna try it now Sorry guys. So let's see how close can I go now. Oh it's much it looks to be much closer. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to auto auto focus. And it looks looks promising. Uh, it looks looks all right. And even if I just get get the same magnification like that uh, as with the other lens, it's still a little better because I'm still a little further from the subject than with my other setup with the with the kit lens with the with the um, ex extension tube so probably I'm gonna destruct the little insects a little less when I'm trying to take picture of them okay that is too that was too close and probably this is the distance um, I'm gonna try to show the, the distance like that because probably didn't made much sense because of the angle oh, it's too close it's still too close still. so about this is the distance from from the pencil uh, to the to the lens and this can focus from this distance and I'm just wondering if yeah, so so this was the picture uh, about the same pencil of it from a few weeks ago when I unboxed the other uh, lens uh, with an extension tube. So this was the picture from from then, and this is the picture from from here. So uh, I can get a, a little bigger magnification. What is good? Um, I'm just gonna uh, just raise the f for you a little higher as to f16. I mean, this uh, this is not the sharpest uh, point of this lens. Uh, as I read it on the Exo Mark, it probably is the sharpest between um, I don't know, like 5.6 to 8. But I just check it because I'm not exactly sh sure that I remember it correctly.
Okay, so the focusing it doesn't seem too fast, but it's probably because of the live view and because of the like the extension tube also not helping too much. So I'm gonna go outside and try to find something to take picture and I'm gonna include those pictures at the end of the end of the video. And also what I didn't mention that it also can be used as a as a uh, portrait lens. Mm, prob probably my dog uh, Moji is gonna be the model for that if he's willing to uh, look towards the camera we will see but thanks for watching god bless